Rocky Road Festive Pudding. Hi and welcome to KC's Vegetarian Kitchen. As myself and my family are not lovers of the traditional Christmas pudding, I always make an alternative dessert for the big day. However, this year I've lost my favourite recipe, so I've been experimenting and I've finally come up with an alternative to the traditional pudding. I've called it Rocky Road Festive Pudding. It suits all ages and tastes and is a super indulgent treat for a very special occasion. So without further ado, let's get cooking. Here's the ingredients. Full recipe with method will appear at the very end of the video. Place the biscuits into a bag and crush into bite-sized pieces. Add the biscuits to a mixing bowl. If using large marshmallows, then chop into quarters. Cut the Class A cherries into quarters. Chop the pecans and walnuts into bite-sized pieces. Add the apricots, raisins, cranberries, nuts, glass A cherries, cinnamon, nutmeg and mixed spice to the biscuits and mix well. Line a pudding bowl with cling film. I find it easier to do this in narrow strips. Melt together the golden syrup, butter, dark and milk chocolate. Mix the melted chocolate and biscuit mixture together. Leave to cool slightly before adding the marshmallows to stop them from going gooey. Add the marshmallows a few at a time to prevent them from clumping and mix well. Pour the chocolate mixture into the lined bowl. Press the mixture firmly down into the bowl and chill in the fridge for at least two hours, but preferably overnight. To remove the pudding from the bowl, place a plate over the bowl, invert, the pudding should drop out onto the plate. Remove the cling film, making sure to remove all of it. Break the white chocolate into chunks, retaining one chunk for later, and melt as before. Pour the white chocolate over the pudding, allowing it to run over the edge, then chill in the fridge for 30 minutes. Roll out the fondant icing between two sheets of baking parchment. This stops the fondant icing from sticking.
Cut out three holly leaf shapes and then score to make the veins. Melt the remaining chunk of chocolate and dot on the underneath of the holly leaves to stick to the pudding. Then repeat with the M&Ms to make the berries. Serve sliced on its own or with cream or ice cream. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you. You can also follow me on WordPress, Instagram, Twitter as well as YouTube. Here's the full recipe with method. Enjoy. Enjoy.